What if everything you've been told about healthy eating was built on a lie? What if I told you that fixing your weight, reversing diabetes, and boosting your energy might come down to making one simple change? I'm not talking about counting calories, starving yourself, or signing up for the latest medication trend. This is something so fundamental, so obvious once you see it, that you'll wonder how we missed it for decades. And no, it's not a new supplement or a trendy biohack. Stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll show you exactly what that one change is and how it's already transforming lives around the world. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified family and obesity medicine doc. And I've seen what works and what doesn't when it comes to real healing. And let me tell you, the old food pyramid is part of the problem. We've been told to build our meals on grains, avoid fat like it's poison, and fear meat as if it's a heart attack on a plate. Meanwhile, 93% of American adults now have signs of metabolic disease. Let that sink in. Almost everyone you know is either sick or on their way there. And this happened under the watch of guidelines that told us what a balanced plate should look like. Now, I promised I'd reveal the one simple change that could unlock better health. And here it is. We need to flip the food pyramid. That's it. Take everything you were taught, turn it upside down, and start from a foundation rooted in real science, not outdated fears. A brand new peer-reviewed paper just dropped a food bomb on the nutrition world. It introduces the first ever low carb food pyramid, one that's built on actual clinical evidence, not observational fluff. This isn't about trends, it's about biology. It's about what your body was designed to eat. This new food pyramid starts with the foods that heal. Whole fat dairy, nutrient dense protein, healthy fats, and low carb vegetables. Let's take a look at it. At its base, you see whole fat dairy, animal proteins, including things like steak, eggs, and fish. And of course, we have fat and oils as a way to avoid those highly processed seed oils. Above that, we have leafy greens, fermented veggies, and some low sugar fruits. And way up at the tippy top, just a sprinkle of nuts, seeds, and berries, and rarely rarely some starchy veggies. And that's it. And of course, the goal is to avoid high carb foods like bread, pasta, corn, sugar, beans and legumes, rice, and of course, most modern fruit, which is high in sugar. And for those of you new to the low carb community, since so many Americans consume 250 to 400 carbs per day, the definition of low carb really starts at around 130 carbs per day but true healing begins in the keto range when you're consuming 20 to 50 carbs per day. And let's be clear, this isn't just a food pyramid. It's a map out of metabolic dysfunction. The authors of this new paper, including my good friend, Nina Teichels, and 20 other clinicians and researchers, didn't just draw a pyramid. They dismantled every myth that kept people afraid of low carb living. Let's talk about the myths. First, low carb diets are dangerous. Nope. Most side effects like the so-called keto flu are just a lack of electrolytes. Add some salt or sip some broth and, and boom, you're back in business. Next, your brain needs carbs. This is also false. The official stance from the National Academies of Science states that the essential amount of carbohydrates required for human life is Zero. That's right, zero. Your liver can make all the glucose your body needs through gluconeogenesis. That's your built-in carb factory. And what about heart disease? Low-carb diets actually improve nearly every marker. They lower triglycerides, raise HDL, and reduce the small, dense LDL cholesterol. And it calms inflammation. Yes, LDL cholesterol can go up in some people, but the paper highlights new studies showing this doesn't translate into plaque buildup or cardiovascular events. So no. Your ribeye or ground beef isn't trying to harm you. Then there's diabetes. This one hits home for me because I've helped so many patients get off insulin, reverse their type 2 diabetes, and reclaim their health using a low-carb approach. One study in the paper showed over 50% of patients reversed their diabetes in just 10 weeks, and those results lasted two years. 
all from flipping the pyramid. But maybe you've heard that low carb diets aren't sustainable. The authors tackled that too. A large survey showed most people could stick with low carb eating long term. Why? Because they're not hungry all the time. Protein and fat are naturally satisfying and low carb doesn't have to be expensive. Ground beef, leg quarters, butter, and eventually eggs are some of the most affordable foods out there. Even low carb families in the Bronx have made this work. Now let's address the nutrient density concern. The paper makes it clear. A properly formulated low carb diet is not only safe, it's nutritionally complete. It provides all essential vitamins and minerals, often in better forms than what's found in the standard American diet. Oh, and that standard diet? It fails to meet basic requirements for vitamin D, iron, choline, and more. So who's really deficient? Let's not forget the gut. You've probably heard that fiber is essential, but here's the twist. A zero fiber diet in one study actually resolved constipation more effectively than a high fiber plan. Low carb also has helped with IBS, GERD, and even gallbladder issues. It's not about removing plants altogether. It's about removing what doesn't serve your body. And if you're worried about athletic performance, don't be. Crossfitters, Marathon runners and even elite military personnel are performing at high levels on ketogenic diets. Bottom line, low carb isn't a fad. It's a return to how we're designed to eat. And that old pyramid is a relic of low fat propaganda, corporate influence and flawed science. This new pyramid is a blueprint for healing. So what's the one change that can transform your health? Flip the food pyramid. Start at the bottom with protein and fat, build your meals on real food, not fortified cereal and sugar-coated advice, and you'll be on your way to metabolic health. So if this message resonated with you, if you're ready to challenge the old dogma and reclaim your health, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who's still building their life on the old pyramid. And don't stop here. Watch my next video where I explain why eggs, not apples, should be the real doctor recommended food to eat every day. You don't need another diet, you need a revolution. Flip the pyramid, fix your health. Let's make low carb common sense again. I'll see you in the next video.